And as you can see, so many people are feeling so many different emotions on this anniversary. One of the people who suffered more than most of us could possibly imagine, Tom Von Essen, the commissioner at the time of the FDNY. That sort of sums up his emotions after 9-11. Firefighters rushing into the World Trade Center towers trying to save people. Von Essen's firefighters, 343 members of the FDNY died that day, including many of the department's top leaders, friends of Von Essen's. I interviewed Tom recently where the Twin Towers once stood. How hard is this for you, this 20th anniversary? Well, you know, as the years go by, as painful as it is for those of us who were so close to so many of the guys we lost that day, it's like a burn. It's just, it always hurts, but it's a little easier. But then the anniversary is just, uh, this is the worst. The, the recognition and uh, the attention to it this year. This place 20 years ago, Tom, was teeming with so many sirens and so many of your firefighters rushing into these two buildings where the memorials are now. A different breed of people and 343 didn't make it up. Oh yeah. And police officers, Port Authority police, and so many innocent civilians who just went to work that day. I look at those 3,000, 2,700, 343, those are all numbers, but every father, husband, wife was an individual. And that's what made it difficult when you started to deal on the individual level. How quickly did you realize it was catastrophic? Well, you know, not until the second building got hit. I was standing in the, uh, in the lobby at a command post and uh, we were told the second building got hit. And we all thought, oh my God. When did you realize that you were gonna lose all those guys and women? Well, the mayor said to me, how many guys you think were in that South Tower when, you, when it collapsed? And I said, I have no idea. Those guys are fast. They were charging up those floors to you know, evacuate people. And uh, to think that the building came down with such a surprise, I had no idea. And the, the buildings came down, shocked everyone because the people who were working in the buildings at that hour were told, stay where you are. It's a fire. We're okay. Our plan was, and it was a good plan, we thought, was if something happens in one building, you keep everybody in place in the other building. That plan was a bad plan that day. We had no idea that this, what happened to the first tower, the North Tower, would also happen to the second. People who didn't follow our instructions survived. So that's always been something that's been on my mind. I know that this tears you up now. You look at the face of Tom Von Essen from those videos from that day. Those of us who know you know how hard you took it. The commissioner job is usually a political job. For me, it wasn't. You were a firefighter. I was a firefighter in the South Bronx. I knew so many people. And to think that you lose the best of, of your best, and it was just pain like you couldn't really, uh, you couldn't imagine. I was thinking about how easy it was for these guys to go and hijack those planes. They exploited the security gaps that we had at airports. They were real smart, as, as dumb as I think they are as a group. We dropped the ball. There's a lot of things that hopefully we improve. They were smart in terms of being cunning, cunning, but they're evil. Full disclosure, I've worked closely with Tom Von Essen over the years, in part because of our annual Operation 7 Save a Life at WABC TV. Fire safety campaign, that's what it was. He took this terror attack so very hard. Eventually, he came back mindful of public service and served under President Trump as head of FEMA for New York and New Jersey and Puerto Rico. He got help. He talked to people about how he was feeling because he was taking this hard. You could see it, Liz, in those videos that we have of him with the other city leaders, and he was crushed. All his friends, all the leaders of his department, so many of them died on 9-11. And so he remembers it, and we thank him for opening up and talking about all this, Liz. Because we certainly know that reliving that day for him and for so many others is yeah. just unfathomable. All right, yeah, Bill. No question. Thank you.